everyone it's Lexi welcome to or welcome back to my channel I wanted to go ahead and tell you guys how to find your style as a Christian woman I feel like it is so important especially in today's world where like there are so many trends going on there's so many just different things that are being thrown at us and I feel like a lot of the times we can lose our own personal sense of style and we might be so tempted to follow the latest fashion trends even though it may not be glorifying God or it may be a little modest um so this is how to find your style as a christian woman and i'm so excited to film this for you guys okay so before we get into this video i wanted to start off with a little bit of scripture so you have first peter 3 verses 3 through 4 and it says your beauty should not come from outward adornment such as elaborate hairstyles and the wearing of gold jewelry or fine clothes rather it should be that of your inner self the unfading beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit which is of great worth in god's sight I wanted to start off with the scripture because I believe that it is just so important to know that this video, yes, is helping you guys find your style, but there are so many more important things when it comes to your walk with Christ than how you dress. And I feel like a lot of the times we can almost idolize fashion or, um, you know, clothing or jewelry or whatever the case may be. And there are so much more to you. Than how you dress so i just wanted to go ahead and let you guys know of that and um just keep that scripture in mind as i'm talking throughout the video so the first thing that i want to tell you guys is to ditch the aesthetics and what i mean by that is stop looking at aesthetics and letting aesthetics dictate what you like and what you want to wear find what you actually like okay I think a lot of the times people we want to fit this certain aesthetic and so we feel like oh well I can't wear this because that's a part of this aesthetic or it's part of that aesthetic literally forget aesthetics y'all this is you this is your own body this is you know what you want for your body as long as it's glorifying Christ um so don't focus so much on aesthetics because I think that that can be really detrimental and that is why there's so much overconsumption because people aren't really shopping for themselves rather they're shopping for trends and what they think that they like when they actually don't like like it but because it's trending on tiktok or it's trending on instagram people are gonna buy it so literally ditch aesthetics and figure out what you truly like so for me what ditching the aesthetics looks like is honestly just realizing that i can have a variety of clothes that would fit in a variety of different categories i can have some clothes that are like streetwear then i can have some clothes that are like more like I guess you could say coquette and that's completely okay i think a lot of the times like i said people try to fit a certain aesthetic when you can literally wear whatever type of clothing you want again like i said as long as it's glorifying god um and you don't have to fit into this one box i think that style you can really um express yourselves and i think that it's just such a beautiful thing and i think for me one of the influencers that i absolutely i absolutely love and i feel like she expresses herself so well is emmy moore and when i see her outfits on instagram i'm literally like shook every time because she has such good fashion and she really expresses herself all while glorifying the lord and remaining modest so yeah the next thing i want to tell you guys when you're finding your style is that if the holy spirit is telling you not to buy it or to wear it then don't i think a lot of people have so many different ideas as to what modesty is and what modesty looks like and I'll set, I've said it once and I'll say it again. Modesty is so much more than how you dress, y'all. It's so much more than what you're wearing. It has to do with your heart posture as well. And so you can be fully clothed and immodest. So don't think that because you're wearing something that has, shows no midriff or something that shows no cleavage that you're modest. Um, if your intentions are bad, then it's immodest. You know what I'm saying? So if you're shopping around and you're looking and you're like, mm, I don't know, or the Holy Spirit's telling you like, hey, like you shouldn't wear that, then don't wear it. And another thing that I wanted to bounce back off of that is to remember that your convictions are not other people's convictions. And I'm always careful when I say that because I think a lot of times people can excuse sin because they're like, oh, it's not, like I didn't get personally convicted. And with that, I'll say if something is specifically said in the Bible or, you know what I'm saying, God gives us wisdom and discernment um, when reading the Bible. And so if God is clearly against something, then it's not up to your personal, like your discernment, right? But if it's something like, let's say you have on like a little crop top and it shows like a little bit of your, like your belly button and like you're wearing like high-waisted jeans or whatever the case may be. Some people might be convicted not to wear that because whenever they wear it, they're wearing it for ulterior motives. They're wearing it because they want attention from men. They're wearing it because um of vanity and things like that versus you might be able to wear it it doesn't cause you to stumble all these different things right so personal convictions are your personal convictions and make sure that when you're 
finding your style and all these things that you are not projecting what God has convicted you to others because somebody else may not be able to wear jeans and this is like very far off but somebody else might have felt convicted to not wear jeans right they might be like oh man like this make my butt look really good like it I got focus on my butt like I, you know what I'm saying and somebody else can wear jeans so it's all a matter of like I said following your own personal convictions and not projecting that but also don't think that everything is a personal conviction in the bible because that's completely not true okay god has very specific things and he means what he means and so if something is in the bible and it clearly says not to do that like obviously it says not to have sex before marriage then you shouldn't do it it's not up to a personal conviction so yeah the next way of finding your style is to find mentors or influencers that you actually enjoy. So if you know that you're like on this new journey, like I know for me, I'm trying to like revamp my closet and like dress a little bit more modest and like wear like a little bit more looser fitting clothes and stuff like that. My biggest tip is to find influencers that you actually enjoy what they're wearing and that inspire you so that way you can find those pieces, okay? Because I feel like if you're following a bunch of people that are not wearing things that god would want you to wear then you're gonna want you're gonna start to want to wear those things right like you're gonna want to start to wear those tight fitting clothes like you're gonna start to want to wear those like bikini like the thong bikinis like you're gonna want to start to wear that so my biggest recommendation is to follow influencers that you genuinely like their style and you can get some bits and pieces of inspiration from them my next big tip is to use apps to find inspiration i absolutely love pinterest I also love this app called Want Locker, which I'll show you guys Want Locker in a second. But Pinterest, I feel like, is the most obvious app that you can use to find a fashion inspiration. I see so many different pictures on a Pinterest on a daily. I love finding outfit and spell on Pinterest, especially because I can find outfit and spell with things that I already have. So, like, say I have like my Adidas Sambas, like I can search up on Pinterest like Adidas Sambas outfit, and then I'll be able to find an outfit because I just searched that up, and like I'll be able to put together one with stuff that I already have. So. I absolutely love Pinterest. I highly recommend Pinterest. And then my new favorite is Want Locker. A lot of you guys are probably like, Lexi, what the heck is Want Locker? Want Locker is Pinterest except for shopping. So you can make different boards and you can put things that you want into boards. So like, let's say like you're on Aritzia's website and you see a top that you want. With the Want Locker extension, you can like save that item to your Want Locker board and you can make a bunch of different boards. So I'm gonna show you guys on my phone basically what it looks like. Um, and I'll also have my Want Locker link down below. And apparently they're coming out with an app pretty soon. And so this is gonna be my like my new favorite. I have so many different boards. So I have sneakers, dainty tops, satin and silk, a board for my LA apartment. Y'all please pray. Okay, I'm coming off up on my last year of school. So just have prayers for me that I end up, if it's in God's will, I end up in California next year. Okay, love to pray that. But I have one for my LA apartment. I have um, one for dainty dresses, coffee, heels, bags, pants, jewelry, kitchen stuff, beauty, bathroom, bedroom, all that stuff. I pin all of these things to different like boards. And so you guys can see that I have, um, what's it called? That I have sneakers. I have, you know, the Sambas that I want. I already have the white ones. So the black ones will probably be coming soon because they're so affordable. I'm like, I don't know, Sambas are in. Like, I just love them. Anyway. Um, this satin and silk little dress. I have like some candles. I have different furniture for my apartment that I want. A bunch of different shoes. Like I said, Sambas, New Balances. Um, a lot of different things, you guys. You guys see all these dainty, cute, flowy dresses. So that's really how I'm trying to move my fashion sense more towards like super cute, dainty, modest, flowy dresses versus something that's like super skin tight and all that stuff. Um, but I absolutely love One Locker. So again, I'm going to link it down below. I highly recommend you guys getting it. I feel like it's so much fun, especially if you're shopping and like you like making little wish lists because you can put a bunch of different things from a bunch of different stores onto one wish list. And I'm like, wow, this is amazing. So highly recommend. I need to drink a sip of coffee. <clears throat> and the last thing is to experiment with things that you like. So you'll never know like what you really like with your style until you experiment with it. So for me, I absolutely love parachute pants. Um, I don't know if I already said this in this video, but I have like a very like street style. Like I kind of dress like Hailey Bieber, except I'm black. But um, there are certain things within street style that I had to experiment with. Like for example, parachute pants, cargo pants. Like I had to experiment with those and I absolutely love it. So if you're trying to find your style and you see something that you like, really experiment with it and find things that work for your body. Like 
not everything is going to look the same on every single body type so i genuinely recommend like just finding things that you really are like okay like i feel good in this i look good because you want to feel confident in whatever you're wearing um and like you can go back to the verse at the beginning and like your beauty does not come from that and your value does not come from like what you're wearing but it's always nice to feel good in what you're wearing and feel comfortable i feel like whenever i'm wearing something and i'm like oh this fits weird like i feel so uncomfortable so i think it's so important to make sure that you are comfortable in what you're wearing so my biggest piece is to really truly and honestly just experiment and last but not least i'm going to tell you guys the stores that i really do enjoy if you guys are trying to look for clothes like this or if you guys like my style i can do different styling videos i really do want to get more into like clothing hauls and show you guys how to dress modestly and all these things like that some of my favorite stores that i enjoy are cherry la i love cherry la for streetwear they have such cute little baby tees and like jackets and shorts and just like so many different things that you can buy from cherry la los angeles apparel i have two sweat sets from there super comfortable i've had them for i believe two years now like and they still hold up they're super comfortable especially in like the winter time like it's just so nice to have like a really good quality sweat set and all of these stores that i'm listing are pretty pricey however they do have really good quality so with a grain of salt and then los angeles apparel also sells like more um than just like sweat sets they sell like tops they sell dresses they sell different things more like basic so like nothing like super trendy that you're gonna find and the next one is local european i love local european if you followed me on instagram i no longer have instagram but if you did follow me on instagram you know that i love local european i have like five different pieces from there it's a black owned shop they have the cutest things they have cargo pants they have skirts they have tops they have different things but i have like a lot of cargo pants from there and i have a top from there I highly recommend getting something from there. Their stuff is such good quality. I'm so obsessed. And on top of that, they only do like certain drops. So I know like for certain pants that I have, they no longer sell them because it was like only a specific drop that they were selling the pants. But highly recommend if you really want to find like one of their old collection like drops, I'm sure you can go on like Pinterest, I'm not Pinterest, sorry, Poshmark or like Depop and I'm sure somebody's reselling it. But again, it is a little pricey. But I highly recommend it and I've gotten my wear out of it like I literally would wear this all the time like I'm not even kidding all the time I'd be wearing my cargo pants so I highly recommend the next place that I'm gonna recommend is Brandy Melville and yeah I love Brandy Melville y'all they have the cutest little baby tops the cu cutest little baby tees they have some dresses super dainty super cute a lot of their stuff is modest so it's very easy to find like a lot of modest pieces from there um, and then a lot of their stuff are basics as well and I think that it's really nice to have a lot of basics because then you can just build a bunch of different outfits because you have a ton of basics so absolutely love brandy melville i also love amazon i feel like it's so random but amazon has some really good pieces i'm gonna be linking my amazon storefront down below because i have so many things from amazon that i absolutely love oh excuse me there's so many different dupes on amazon that i just think are not only good quality but amazon gets there in like two days so it's like a win-win for everybody you know and then the next thing is realization par realization par has some super cute like little dainty dresses that i'm absolutely obsessed with highly 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 recommend realization par and then aritzia aritzia is pretty self-explanatory such cute stuff again a little bit on the pricier side but this stuff will last you for years so it's definitely quality over quantity and last but not least you have zara so zara is super cute too i honestly only like shopping at zara in person and when i go online i'm kind of overwhelmed because there's just so much there's so much to go through but i love zara in person so that is it for all of my tips and before we end off this video i just want to go ahead and talk to you guys about the importance and just the beauty of fashion and the beauty of modesty through fashion because i feel like a lot of the times people can think that modesty is boring and like I feel like for me for a while I was like it, it's boring like who wants to cover up everything right like you know what I'm saying especially when you work so hard right and like I know like for me like I work so hard like in the gym blah blah, blah. and so it's like you want to like wear things that like show that you work hard but at the end of the day I remember that like our bodies belongs to God and it's not even like it doesn't even belong to us so like for me to like want to show it in that way not only is it vanity but it just doesn't help and I've been reading a book called a woman's body is a temple and it's just been teaching me so much especially because it literally said that how you dress attracts the men right so how you dress will attract a certain type of man and i sat there and it's i think it's like really humbling to sit there and be like oh shoot like i do attract certain types of men like if you are wearing these tight fitting clothes right and you want a man of god i promise you you probably will not find that man of god okay and if it is a man of god you will probably find somebody who is 
like a wolf in sheep's clothing, right? Because I'll never forget, I was talking to this guy. I wasn't really feeling the guy anyway, so like it was really easy for me to cut him off. Typically, like when it comes to guys, if I really like you, like it, it takes a, it takes a little bit for me to cut you off if you know you know. I'm sorry that my voice keeps going in and out, y'all. I'm covering, I'm like recovering from a sickness. But um, anyway, I was talking to this guy and he was sending me pictures of me on my Instagram and basically talking about like my outfit and obviously like how good my body looked and all these things and this guy was supposed to be man of god like we met and he was on tiktok posting like all these different things and all these different scriptures and all this stuff and then he all of a sudden like you know started saying different things about my clothes and it was a little inappropriate and while yes everybody struggles with temptations and stuff like that it really made me see like okay not only am i not really dressing modestly because everything that i'm wearing is attracting this these specific types of men but i need to reframe what i'm dressing and why i'm wearing what i'm wearing because a lot of the outfits that i was wearing were super tight fitting and although it was a cute outfit and although i thought it was cute the main like reason why i was wearing it was because i wanted my body to like look good i was like oh like my body like look at my butt like it just looks so good like look at my stomach looks so flat and so i was attracting these types of men that literally would only want those things and we are visual creatures so it's unfortunate that how you look will attract a certain type of man but it's just the truth and i had to sit there suck it up bite my tongue and be like you know lexi like you have to take responsibility and um, you have to be like okay if I don't want this certain type of man I have to do my part as well and so my part being like okay dress classier just straight up like don't dress with skin tight clothes on and I guarantee you you will attract a completely different type of man right because he'll have no choice but to want to get to know you um, because anybody can have a good body right anybody can have a good body anybody can wear tight clothing but if you start dressing more modestly and that's not the main focus of you then they're only gonna have to like they're only gonna want to get to know you granted that's not always you're still gonna find some bad apples in the tree but it's a good bet and so that's something that i just had to realize and be like okay lex like we gotta start finding the beauty and dressing modestly and it's not boring right i found those little cute dainty dresses and i was like this is so adorable like are you kidding like imagine wearing that gold jewelry like you, you just feel angelic like genuinely so it's just like wear that and there's also some type of like i don't know for me i really just believe that like saying modestly there's something about it that's so like desirable like i don't know but like i'm just thinking about it and i'm like okay like the more i cover up like i just feel even more like better about myself because i know that this guy if he's talking to me he's talking to me because of who i am and maybe it's my face maybe it's my facial beauty um which is not the best either but like he's talking to me because he wants to get to know me and also i just feel like there, there's something special about it that nobody really knows what you look like but you and your husband right i, I don't know i just i was thinking about it and i was like dang like that's kind of that's kind of i don't want to use the word hot to describe it that's not the word i'm going to use god please help me with my vocab and my thoughts because that's that's the word that was coming up on my mind like it's kind of hot like no it's not like that's we shouldn't be putting modesty and hot together like we shouldn't but I think dressing modestly and like knowing that the only people that know how your body looks is you, the Lord obviously, and your husband or your wife. Um, if you're a man, um, I, I don't know. I think it's kind of, it's great. It's, it's a great way. So yeah, anyway, that is my little tea on how to find your style as a Christian woman. But I love you guys so much. I hope this helped you guys all a ton. I will have all of my socials linked down below. I'm no longer Instagram, so yeah, but be prepared because I will be having some big updates with my podcast. I never really promote my podcast on here, but I do have a podcast called Lex in the City. So go ahead and subscribe to the podcast down below. I'll have the link in the description. I don't even know if it's subscribe or follow. I don't know. But anyway, I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye y'all.